Welcome to the online orientation for Oakwood Middle School's Online Health for High School Summer Session. In this video, you will learn to prepare your Google Drive to convert and organize written work, add your email address to the Buzz system, navigate through the online health course, download the first assignment, and submit written work in the Buzz system. Please stop, rewind, and replay this video as often as necessary to help complete all of the tasks demonstrated. To get started, the first thing you'll want to do is open up a tab with your Google Drive and a separate tab with the email you received with your login information for online health. The first thing we need to do is change one of the settings in your Google Drive. To do that, you need to open your Google Drive tab and go up to the gear here in the upper right hand corner, click on it, choose settings. In this pop up window, you need to change one thing. Find the section that says convert uploads and click the box so that it's blue with a white check mark. You don't need to do anything else here and you can click done. The next thing you'll need to do is refer to your online health orientation login email and find the section that says your teacher and your teacher's email address. You'll need those two things for the next step. Once you've located your teacher's information, return to your Google Drive and create a folder for all of your online health work. Do that by clicking the new button in the upper left hand corner and choosing the very first choice folder. You'll want to name this folder online health with your last name. So online health, my last name is Lyons and then click the create button. After a moment, it will pop up here in your list of folders. Sometimes it takes just a minute to work. Once you see it, click on it to open it. And then up here where the title was, what we named it, you're going to click on the little arrow and in the pop-up, you'll choose share. And here you're going to put your online health teacher's email address. You can refer back to that email you received with your login information, highlight it, copy it, and paste it into that box. You want to make sure that you give your teacher editing rights and then click send. From this point on, any written work that you complete will be put into this folder and automatically shared with your teacher. Next, we're going to access your online health course through the Buzz system. Refer back to your email and find the spot that says all course work can be found at and a, there's a URL link. You'll also need your username and your password. Please note that your password is case sensitive. Click on the URL and the Buzz system will open. Be sure that on the main screen in blue it says plain local. It's very important. Lots of different schools use this system and they each have their own separate login page. Yours has to say plain local or you won't be able to log in. Under username, you're going to type the information that was in your email for username and for password. And click login. This is what your screen should look like. And life management skills is the formal name of our online health class. You'll also see 2020 Summer Health and your online teacher's name. At this point, we need to add our email addresses into the system. So up here, find your name and click on it. Choose settings. And where it says <clears throat> your name and your username, underneath there's a spot for email address. And here you're going to type in your email address and then click save. 
From here, there are a couple of icons that you should be aware of. This bar graph will take you to the grade book, where once you start completing work, you'll be able to see which grade you earned for each assignment. And this circle with a triangle in it will take you to the lessons and the place where you turn in all of your work. Right now, I'd like you to click on that icon. Here are all of the modules or units that you'll be completing in online health. We're going to take a look at module one, construction site. Go ahead and click on that. The folder will open here on the left as well as in the middle. It's easiest to navigate from the middle. This icon denotes a lesson, something for you to read, watch, or do. This icon means that there's going to be something for you to write. You're going to need to download a file, get it into your online health folder, and then eventually submit it to your teacher. This icon means that you're going to take a multiple choice quiz. If you notice, this lesson is assigned 1.1, and then this is the, ass the assignment that goes with it. So it is also 1.1. So this is lesson 1.2. This is assignment 1.2. We're going to take a look at lesson 1.1. At this point, what looks like slides will open up. You can navigate these slides by using these purple arrows or by clicking on the numbers. It always tells you how many slides there are. And you can navigate through them. At this point, what you'll need to do is read through all of the information, click on anything that is clickable. The last page always tells you what the assignment is. In some cases, you may have to download what are called work files from another page. And on this first one, it's on the second page. And right here it says Constructing Positive Self-Esteem Work File. So to download this, you need to click on it. And it'll show over here that it has been downloaded. Your plain local Chromebook is set up to download it directly into your Google Drive. So at this point, I'd like you to go back to your Google Drive, go into My Drive, and find that assignment. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time to pop up, but it's actually right here, and it will already be set up as a Google document because we set your Google Drive up to convert all files into Google Files. So what you need to do is move this file into your online health folder. To do that, you simply click on it, grab it, drag it, and drop it. It is now, oh, yep, we do want to do that. This will allow you to, to say that, yes, I want to share this document with whomever I shared that folder with. And if you open up your folder, you'll see that there it is. Now, for every file, you're going to want to add your last name to the file. To do that, you can double click on it and choose rename and just add in your last name. That makes it a little bit easier when teachers have to go in and grade. Sometimes they have to grade hundreds of assignments. This makes it a little bit easier for them to find yours. Once you've completed the lesson and any work file or assignment, that's attached, you'll need to upload it into the system. To do that, go back to Buzz. And here we're on the lesson. Remember, the assignment where you turn things in is right underneath the lesson. So this is 1.1 the lesson. This is 1.1 the turn in spot. Go ahead and click on that. And this one re requires you to turn in a file. So you're going to click Show Dropbox. Depending on your computer, you may have to scroll down to see this button. And then you're going to choose, choose Google document. 
Now you may have to allow, and I am going to choose my account and then click allow. and then all of your folders will pop up. Here's my online health folder. I'll click on that and then choose the assignment that I've completed for that lesson. Click select. And if you'll notice, it's popped up here. If you, for some reason or accidentally put in the wrong document, you can just click the trash can and it will delete it and you can start over again. You have a couple of choices. If you're not ready to turn it in, you can choose save or click submit. At this point, the teacher will see that it's ready to be graded. Once you get this message, you have successfully submitted this assignment, you can move on. I'm gonna show you one more thing. Lesson 1.2 has a multiple choice test that goes along with it. So you'll read through and interact with the lesson and then click on the quiz. Here, it doesn't say show Dropbox, it says start. So you're gonna click on the start button and you'll have multiple choice questions as well as some short answer questions. For the short answer questions, you can just click in the box and type your answer. Once you're done, you have some choices. You can either go ahead and submit or this little arrow allows you to save and exit. So if you maybe wanna stop in the middle of the quiz or you're not read, just not ready to submit it, you can save it and go back to it. But once you submit everything, you won't have access to this quiz again. Lastly, please be sure that you read through all of the information in your orientation email. There is a mandatory Google Meet uh, on June 8th, depending on your last name, it may be at a different time. All coursework is due by July 10th at 3 p.m. And then also there are just some other tips. My contact information is down here. If you have technical problems or problems with the Buzz system or your Google account, please contact me and I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can and help you figure those out.